On this episode of Across All Borders Going South, join me as we marvel at the mighty Musu Otunya, Victoria Falls, Zambia, the smoke that thunders. For my final stop during my trip through Zambia, I visited Livingstone. I had two things on my list. Visit the mighty Musu Otunya, as the Kololo people call it, and take a sunset boat cruise on the Zambezi River. On this episode, I'll be sharing with you my experience visiting Victoria Falls. If you are not from Zambia or Zimbabwe or the Southern African countries, you could use the Casa Visa to visit the Victoria Falls. The benefits of the Casa Visa is that it allows you to travel both countries within a 30-day period. So it is good if you had maximum four weeks and you wanted to see both countries. You can easily cross the land border by foot to visit the Zambian or the Zimbabwean side. Unfortunately, during my visit, the Zimbabwean land border was closed, so I couldn't do this. But today, we will look at all the viewpoints of the Victoria Falls that I got to see from the Zambian side. So let's go. I started my exploration on the photographic trail. The photographic trail allows you a beautiful vantage point of the face of the main fall, the boiling point, and the other cliffs, giving this wonderful picture of the smoke that thunders. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does that even mean? Now, from the imagery, you can immediately see that the force of the Zambezi River plunging down on this cliff face generates this misty, smoky atmosphere that sends chills down your body when you view this waterfall. That's the only way I can explain how I felt viewing the Victoria waterfall. So on the photographic trail, you have these amazing views, but there are other areas where you can view the waterfall from. There is the boiling pot. There is the knife's bridge. For the knife's bridge, you definitely need clothes that you want to get wet in, like bathing suits and bare feet or flip-flops they also provide for a fee a raincoat and some crocs which you can use to cross the knives bridge if you're filming like i was then you might want to always regularly dry your lens or have a waterproof covering for your lens i obviously forgot this otherwise you have the devil's pool the livingstone island the lookout tree and the main bridge where the bungee jumping is done. There are other activities that you can carry out if you are exploring or visiting the Victoria Falls. You can do the bungee jumping from the main bridge between Zambia and Zimbabwe. You can do rafting. You can go chill at the Devil's Pool. You can go to the island. These are all things that you have to check how much energy and time you have. But if you have time and energy, I would advise you to do as much as you can. My guide was very knowledgeable and he showed me as much as I could do on that day. I wasn't at my best in terms of energy, but I tried to cover as much as possible. So come, let's check it out. So basically saved the best for the last. I am now at Victoria Falls. You've got different trails that you can go on. You have the trail, the photographic trail. You've got the um, boiling point. So we're walking on the photographic trail right now and then we'll go back to the boiling point. Um, apparently, the bridge is is the bridge open? Yes, open. Okay. okay, so we can go to the bridge later. Normal walking time: 15 minutes down, 25 up. Ample drinking water with you. Stay on the pod. Do not litter. Do not carry food. Okay, we don't have food. Mukuni Village. Mukuni Village. Yes. Like the park. <laughs> Isn't the park called Mukuni or something? <laughs> no. Like uh, Mukuni, Mukuni Park, oh yeah, yeah. it's like in town. Yeah. Yes. The name is just coming out of the village. Okay. Because it's a cheap village. Okay. How long have you worked here? Uh, for over uh, four years. No? Okay. Thank you. 
on you in a second. Oh wow. So it's only baboons that are here, no? Okay. Ah, so this is one of the viewpoints. Oh, it's a better view of the knives, bridge. Wow. Oh my god, okay. Sun's gone though, okay, let's go. Maybe on the way back. So guys, this is the view of the um, boiling point from on top. So we're on the photo trail. As you can hear, some helicopters. So they're doing the flight over the fall. That's about $189 for 15 minutes. But we're gonna go down to the boiling point later. We're just trying to do this um, photo trail walk where you see the bridge and um, the boiling point and other points of the waterfall. And right over there in the back where there's some people, that's already people in Zimbabwe. So over there where we can see a few people walking around, they are on the Zimbabwean side of the fall. I'm gonna just go down for you a little bit. There you go. So it's called the boiling point because of the movement of the water and the way it passes through the rocks. So we're gonna go down and show you that a bit close up, but let's finish this part of the trail. Boiling point. Okay. Yeah. What bird is that? Do you know the name? Loco. Yeah. In Loco, we call it Gadriri. Gadriri? Yeah, Gadriri is the local sound. Okay. So does it get wet at the boiling pot? I'm not feeling Okay. So this is coming from the fall? Yes, this okay. is coming from the forest. Okay. So it's in the 
after the diversion, uh -huh. then again they divert it again to come from this side. Okay. Yeah. From that index, if the water level is very high, you have to divert some of the water. Also. Oh, okay. So if you were going to do some rafting, this is where you would start. And we have 25 rapids going down this uh, part. So the first one we're seeing is rapid number one and further down is rapid number two. Um, but you see um, the movement of the water and the explanation of the uh, fact that here is called the boiling point. Because the way it moves, it looks like the water is boiling, so kind of like making that movement. Two and Rainbow Falls. Can we go there? No, we shall. Round?
On the way back, we actually came across some elephants that were, I don't know if they had just crossed or planning to cross. So we got a little bit of safari included um, in the visit to Victoria Falls. That was beautiful. Wow. So the elephant corridor is a true phenomenon because we're just driving along the road and we found these big boys and small boys and girls here um, just having a chill time. So you can see there's a little elephant also there, two small ones and some big ones. And there's kind of like water there. So maybe that's why they're uh, enjoying that spot there. They're like playing in the water. It's really cool. Yeah, do that. Nice. <laughs> I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.